Hey guys, it's Yasmin here and I hope you're doing well. Now, I wanted to shoot the short video before I show you the interview that I did with my friend Trisha on how to be successful here in the UAE and pretty much anywhere you go because I wanted to let you know that that video was actually shot before the pandemic, before COVID-19 hit the world really bad. So while some of the lessons there might not apply for you now, some are still timeless and you can take whatever will be useful for you and leave the rest. And also um, know that the pandemic will not be here forever. So these lessons will really help you eventually, you know, when you decide to either move out of your country, make it to a new place, because she really talks about some very important things in terms of picking the right people to be around, uh, really having a growth mindset, really focusing on progress. So I hope you enjoy. Take care. Stay in good health. Hey, it's Yasmin here, and I have with me a good friend of mine, Trisha. Trisha Minaya. Trisha is a PR director and partner at Catch, which is a PR agency here in Dubai. She's also the co-founder of Compo, which is a PR agency in the Philippines. She has been awarded Advertising Professional of the Year and also is considered one of the most influential Filipinas here in the Middle East. And today she's just going to share with us what it takes to be successful here in the UAE. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank you, Yas, for having me on your channel. It's such an honor to be, you know, invited here and to share, um, you know, some tips. Um, again, there are no hard and fast rules. And as anything in life, there is no straight path to success. So I think what I'm going to share with you today are just, um, you know, tips that might help you along the way uh, because my journey might be completely different from everyone's journey. The opportunities that I have, the challenges that come my way might be completely different from everyone else's. Um, but hopefully some of these steps might guide you along the way. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to share with you. Sure. Yeah? Okay. The first thing that I wish I knew when I started um, working here in the Middle East and in the UAE is um, to manage my expectations. So for you know already that you're entering a multicultural environment. And already in the Philippines, working with um, you know people from different schools, you know, people from different backgrounds, you already clash, you already encounter misunderstandings and you see a lot of differences. Can you imagine how much more um, you know differences in attitudes, perspectives, culture, etc., that you'll encounter here in the UAE? I think it's best to be prepared for that challenge. Um, along the way, you might find that you know some of them might have preconceived notions about us as Filipinos. Um, if they're positive, definitely capitalize on that. Make sure that you show it, show them that this is really what the Filipinos can do and contribute to that positive, um, you know, perception. If it's not very favorable, um, that doesn't define you. That doesn't define who you are. That doesn't define who you are as a person. Um, there is an opportunity to change that. It's not necessarily your role to change that, but you can definitely contribute in um, forming those um, beliefs and perceptions about the Filipinos as a whole in this region by doing great jobs. So the second tip, very important to choose who you hang out with, choose your friends wisely, choose the people you'll allow in your inner circle. Um, it's not necessarily true. Again, there's nothing that's absolute, but I feel that um, you there's a saying that you become the sum total of the five people closest to you. So be very careful in choosing who these five people will be in your life. Um, you know, pick people who have similar values as you, pick people who challenge you, who inspire you, um, who will help you, who will help lift you up, you know? Um, I found this really true and this was, um, you know, and back then I had a colleague that's a little bit whiny and I found that I started to become whiny myself and I, and I knew that I wasn't like that on a daily basis. I wouldn't, I'm not a whiny type of person but because I was hanging out a lot with this person, I tend to kind of like copy her energy. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if that happens, always be mindful, always be conscious and so 
I just thought from then on, I just have to really pick the people I spend most of my time with. Your time is valuable, so make sure you spend it with people who will add value to your life, and that would be, uh, you know, you can help add value to their lives as well. And the third and final tip would be is to always look for the next best version of yourself. So if you graduated summa cum laude, that's great. What's next for you? If you entered um, the company of your dreams um, and you got the you know the the promotion that you wanted that's great what's next um, in that way you're focused on your own progress um, and not comparing yourself with you know the progress of other people because we all have our individual journey we all have you know our different seasons so if you always you know benchmark yourself against your last best version then you're always looking to um, go up the ladder if you like um, and you're not resting on your laurels. I think that's it. That's perfect. Thank, Thank you, you Trisha. So some of those three points. So one is to really just prepare yourself for a multicultural environment. The second is to make sure that you're careful in picking your inner circle because you are the sum total of the people that you hang out with. And the third is to really Focus on your own journey and focus on progressing in your own journey instead of comparing yourself with others. Thank you, Trisha. Thank, thank you, you so for much. those. And thank I hope you. you guys learned from this. Thank yeah? You. Okay, thank you for being an inspiration. Thank you.